In this video, I'll show you how I created this wall texture which is inspired by a wallpaper that I saw. This is the space I'm working with. It's a 6 feet by 10 feet wall next to the dining table. And in 2020, I did a wall for a client with this wallpaper which I thought was very very beautiful. It had these distressed details and then uh, a block print on it and this was mainly my inspiration. I wanted something which is very fairly neutral so I went for this light biscuit kind of color it's called Dusty Trail 8506 and you'll see I'm using very very little uh, paint. Also the ceiling of this room is painted dark you can see that here. So I'm keeping the texture neutral and also going to do a block print on top of that with the same color. It's more like a tone on tone kind of look. This is a stencil that I'm using for the, the block print kind of effect. And you'll see that I'm using very, very little paint. So this wall is, like I said, six feet wide by 10 feet tall. And this is all the paint that we need for this texture and uh, the stencil that we are doing. So I'm not going to dilute this paint at all because I want it nice and thick. I'm just going to roll my roller in it. I have not... Uh, the roller is actually very very dry. It's not wet. So I don't want a lot of moisture because we are going to be using a wet rag for the texture itself. So here I'm just rolling it out getting the excess paint off. This is probably the easiest texture that I have done that anybody can do. So what I'm using is I'm going to use this roller and just paint a small patch. Then I will use this wet drag which is tightly squeezed and wipe the paint off. Let's go. The roller will have some edges. If you are using a brush, there will be some brush strokes. All you need to do is spread them out by wiping them circular um, on the wall and leave as, as little or as much paint as you wish to leave. This is a fairly uh, dark place like very little natural light comes here so you uh, won't be able to see a lot of texture. Here is a zoomed out look. It looks quite horrible to some people, but trust the process, guys. So there is texture, but there is very, very little color, if you see. Next is to repeat the same process across the wall. I set a timer for this process and like I said for the 6 feet by 10 feet wall it took me about 25 minutes to complete this texture which I think is hardly anything. You can call this stucco texture, you can call it color wash, you can call it watercolor, whatever, but the effect is the same. This took about 25 minutes like I said. Here is a closer look. One thing to note is that when you start the texture, it's going to look wet and it will dry a lot lighter when it is a light shade. I let it dry for about half an hour and then it was time to move on to make the stencil. Like I said, I'm going to do a tone on tone, so I'm using the same color and this stencil that I got at Itsy Bitsy, I think. And I'm not going to be too careful about where I place it. I want a very distressed kind of stencil and not a fully perfect pattern. And here you can see the roller is too big for the stencil itself. 
through the process i realized since it's the same color i could just roll it and excess whichever whatever is stuck to the sides i can just wipe it off with a wet rag there you go looks a lot darker but it'll dry lighter and blend into the background one more we, before we get on to the hyperlapse the reason why i don't edit the these uh, parts where i'm struggling to hold or stick the stencil is because i want people to know that it is a struggle it doesn't come very easy to everybody or um, you know it's it's not a talent that you come with you just go with the flow i like this stencil a lot better than the previous one and i think it looks gorgeous here are the two together and now it's time to fill up the entire wall with stencils it looks a little dark but it'll dry and blend into the background it'll it's hardly visible on camera after it was dry only in person it looks absolutely gorgeous here is a hot tip for anybody who loves to stencil on the wall after a couple of applications make sure that you wash your stencil front and back clean it completely and then get back to work otherwise the paint uh, sticks to the back and then you get like a very dirty um, overhang with your stencils and then it doesn't look all that great i was initially just supposed to do very few stencils but then when i saw the effect that it was giving i went crazy and just filled up the entire wall from a distance you can hardly make out there is any block print or any stencil on the wall the last one before we call it a day and complete the wall and like i said i'm not going to be too perfect it's it is a distressed wallpaper so let's just get it for wall treatments i prefer hand painted murals first then wallpaper and if i don't have uh, the budget only then will i do a solid wall if you've been following me on instagram you know i created the, these frames i think a year ago i bought the tiny wood slices painting from a lady on instagram and i was holding on to them because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do and then finally I had the idea. I sat on it for another 6 months and then finally got to doing these frames. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want more of such content. Thank you so much. See you soon.